what does the king think about sex changes and the whole trans movement? Well, I think it's a very important movement. But I want to make sure that we understand exactly why from a spiritual point of view it's important. You see, these souls that come forth that feel that they are in the wrong bodies are young gay boys that feel they are girls or vice versa. I want to offer another option of what you're feeling. Your feelings are valid. They are true. But you came in a certain body, male or female, and your spiritual task is to manifest that androgeneity of your spirit through the physical body you have. In other words, there's a reason why you chose to have that feeling in you of being a different gender, yet have this particular gender's body. That mystery, that apparent contradiction, is a great power for you. Many of these people that feel they must change their sexes are actually very powerful shamans, very powerful sorcerers, perhaps the most powerful on the planet. But this culture has not given them a place to understand that feeling from a spiritual point of view. You see, we are all androgynous, but there are some amongst us in our community who feel the other side of their sexuality so strongly. So you're supposed to, from a spiritual point of view, not alter your body, not chop or hack your physical beautiful form, but to keep the form you have, but to channel and focus that other energy through this body. And the only way to do that is through spirituality, is through finding who you are. You are the most magical of beings on earth, those of you who have this deep feeling. And I pray that through our work, we help you to find the place and the space to release that magic through the body you have. You see, because if it were meant for you to naturally change your gender, you wouldn't require drugs and medication to maintain your body in a new gender. You see, being gay does not require any kind of drug or any kind of surgical operation. It just happens automatically. So if you are a young boy who feels he's a woman, you're not a woman, you're androgynous. Your spirit is neither boy nor girl. It is neither male nor female. It is that which created both of those. So my concern in this movement is we're focusing too much on the body and then changing the body, operations, surgery, chopping and chemicals. And all these beautiful souls are not awakening the spiritual gift that comes with these feelings. So I would say as a king priest, keep the body you chose in heaven, keep the feelings you chose in heaven and learn to channel the two as one, as one loving team. Do not chop your body, expand your spirit.